Hey, sugar bunnies. How are you guys today? Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see. Hello, Angelica loves anything. Hello, Totally Descendants. Hello, Lunar Fire. Hello, Gina. Um, let me see if I can say the last name. Adofaga. Adofaja? Maybe it's pronounced with a J instead of a G sound. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Slimy Toy Collector. Oh no, Amalia's dog ripped her homework. Oh no! That's a case of my dog actually eating my homework. You'd have to take a picture of that and show your teacher. I am doing okay. Um, it's Saturday, so that's always nice. Um, usually it's a day for no work. Um, so um, I have this work, but I don't have other work. So um, yeah, and then I get to do my live stream. So you guys know I love doing that. 9.30 p.m. where Chloe is. And you guys are in England, so. Oh no. <laughs> Slimy Toy Collector, can I say, you are the best. All right, I said, you are the best. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Kawaii Panda. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Dana. Oh no, dog biting someone. Ugh. Oh dear, that's, that's sad. Hopefully he didn't get hurt too bad. Hello, Snatch Siwa. So, as you guys can see, we've got the 10 blind bags, plus I've got this um, little bit of candy here that I found that looked really cool, so I wanted to try them out. They're like little stampers, but I'll show them to you guys when I open them. So, um, 10 blind bags, and then the candy, that's a little extra, but that's not counting as a blind bag. Um, and then 30 questions, I will take the first two people that answer correctly, enter their name into this, and at the end of the live stream, I will draw a winner. Um, that's pretty standard for this, but in case anybody's new, I do see a lot of new people. So, um, also down in the description box, it's got a, like everything on how to enter, how to contact me, and what I'll be opening. So, um, I do this every Saturday, but it's pretty simple. And if you haven't um, been here before, you can always look down there or ask somebody, and I'm sure someone will help you. So, uh, let's see. Let's see what else is there. Um, I think that's pretty much it, but um, I guess we'll just get started. So, which blind bag do you guys want to see me open first? <laughs> yeah, there was only four questions on the website. I hadn't updated it. I've just been really, really busy. Sorry about that. I'm going to keep up on it this next week, though. So, um, But I did pull a lot of questions that you guys requested, so hopefully that will help you guys out, too. So... Um, Sugar Bunny Mackenzie is on the same time as me. Right now it is 1.30 for me, so let's see. The JoJo, okay, I see a lot of people for the JoJo. So this will be the second one of these that I've actually opened. Um, it is a JoJo Secret Bows 2-pack. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the last time I got one of these glitter ones, so is it focusing? Does it want to focus? Let me see. Kind of doesn't. I don't know if it's just really, really bright or what's going on, but it's having a little bit of trouble. So um, I got one of these glitter ones and I got the blue one. So the only hack that I had for you guys, because this just kind of came in like a bin, was if you feel around in here, the glitter one you could feel it was kind of like crunchy. So I can feel that I definitely have a regular one in here and I don't think you'll be able to feel the print. But um, let's see, do I think I have I don't think I have another um, another glitter one, so we'll see. But um, I had you guys vote. I had two of these picked to the left or the right one, and the right one had like a smaller tab up here on top. That's how I knew the difference between the two. But you guys picked the left majority. There was a few people that picked the right, but the majority of you guys picked left. So let's see what we've got inside. Oh, it's really thick right there. I just want to make sure I wasn't cutting into anything. But I found these at Walmart, and I'll give you guys my rundown on these. Oh, okay. Take it back. It is a glitter one, so I failed on that one. But I did get a different one of the other ones. So here is the glitter one. Maybe it will focus. Maybe. Sometimes it has trouble on the glitter. Oh, because it's just trying to focus on too many things. So I'm trying to keep it there. Eh. All right, well, it's, it's a little hard to see, but there we go. From, from back here, you can see a little bit better. 
So they are different from the other um, mini bows that I found at Target, and I did tell you guys this in the last stream. You can see that the clip on the back is plastic. So I wasn't super impressed with these. Um, I mean, they're thicker right here, so like if you wanted to attach it to like a shoelace or something, that would be better that way. Definitely better over the metal clips. But if you were like doing it in your hair, like, I don't know. I just would prefer the metal ones. But like at the end of a braid, if you were doing it like that, but if you're trying to just clip it on the side of your hair when your hair is down or something, I don't think this will work as well. So um, also like to me, it's just kind of cheap, this little plastic piece. Plus this is not super inexpensive. Like I would have said like $3 for this blind bag would have been good, but it was $5. And that's the same price as the ones at Target that have the metal clips. So the other one is pink here. And um, the other one that I got was um, blue, so. But this is kind of holographic, it kind of sparkles. You guys can see it a little bit there. So, all right, so that is what we got in there. Um, and if you were wondering, it is by Just Play. I hope this doesn't stay unfocused. Like, it's looking like it's like okay on my hand, but I'm not sure. I hope it gets better. All right, so we are on to three questions. Mackenzie said she's got the same pen. And then she said, as you know, difference. I'm not quite sure what that means. The same pen, but it's different. Hmm, I'm not sure. So, um, all right, here you guys go. This is question number one. Are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. All right, what is the charm on JoJo's necklace that she's wearing in her sweet 16th birthday celebration? So she's wearing a really big charm on a necklace. What is that charm? Sorry about that. All this glitter on my table, I had to clean it off. All right, let's see, I see some answers coming in. First two to get it right, get their name entered. I see bow, bow. All right, I will take this, I will take this. Casey Rogers said logo, which is correct. It is a logo, her logo. So I will take that as an answer. Here you go, Casey Rogers. Let me write your name here. And then the next person to get it was, let's see. Um, a heart. Kawaii Panda. Got it. It's a heart. So the heart is her logo, but yeah, Kawaii Panda, you got it. And there you go. All right, here's question number two, guys. You ready? Oh, uh, maybe she is talking about another pen I have. That is very true. Could be that. All right, here you go. What grade is Henry Danger in? Yep, her logo is a heart. You guys got that. So what grade is Henry Danger in? All right, I see a couple answers. All right, I see two that are correct. I saw seventh grade, uh, that's not the answer. Amalia got it first with eighth grade. So Amalia, Zul, Farfan. There you go, Henry Danger is in eighth grade, guys. So the next one was <laughs> Totally Descendants with eighth. go. Write them down real quick. And totally descendant. All right. Question number three. Yeah, I know. He goes to school. It's Henry Danger, the younger one, not the adult. Um, all right. The next question is, what is the birthday of YouTuber Kira Bridget? 
do an Easter question. Oh, I don't think I have any Easter questions. I did one in the last stream. Hey there, Jasper. Um, so I know that you are, I think you're pretty new to my stream. Um, I have this Sugar Bunny Helper account um, and whatever order it comes in on my screen, because it comes in different for everybody, but whatever order it comes in on mine is the, um, the way that I pick it. So um, it's just YouTube, it's weird. It shows it different for everybody. So um, the question is, what is the birthday of YouTuber Kira Bridget? <laughs> it does not surprise me that the person that wanted me to ask questions regarding this person did get it. So let's see. I see January, April, January, February, May, uh, then 2Q October, but I see she got it down below. So June, July, um, Lunar Fire, oh no, why are you sad? Chloe Davis said October 21st, 2000, and that is correct. So Chloe Davis got it first. Chloe requested that, so don't forget, when this video posts, if you want me to ask specific questions during my na my next live stream, not the actual question itself, but about a topic, say you like Pokemon, or in this case, she liked Kira Bridget, um, I will do my best to get as many in there as I can and see if you guys get that, and she did, so that's something she knows about, and she got the answer right, so that'll help you guys out, so don't forget to do that. Write it in the comments on this video once it posts. Uh, the next person said October, November, um, and then 10, 21, oh, it's missing the thing, December, hmm, October 21st, January, let's see, let's see, let's see, I saw another one, okay, Kawaii Panda had it, alright, so Kawaii Panda, and that's number two for you. Okay, so there we go, Kawaii Panda got two and Chloe's got one. All right, so that was our third question for that. We get to open up another blind bag. So which one do you guys want to see? There's Lock Stars, Squeeshium, the Wreck-It Ralph uh, Breaks the Internet. Ralph Breaks the Internet. It's not even Wreck-It Ralph, but that's who it is. And then Grumblies, Roblox, uh, Kinder Joy, Princesses, the My Little Pony, Squishy, Bananas, Smooshy Mushy, and then I'll do the candy at some time during the stream. That's Oh, okay, I see. A lot of people are requesting the Roblox, so we'll do the Roblox. So, here is the Series 3 Roblox. I almost took a picture of this side. Look at how pretty this is. Purple, it's translucent, and it's kind of shimmery. So, I really, really like this one. Um, I tried with a flashlight to shine it through, but I grew impatient, and I just stopped trying to figure out who it was. So, um, you might be able to find out who it is through there, but I don't know. But the box does have, like, the full character thing. I'm really hoping to get, like, it is not, like, wanting to focus. Focus, please. Okay, it's not focusing close, but there's, like, a little unicorn, and then there's um, these wings on, like, maybe, like, a bunny creature. I'm not sure. So, one of those two would be cool, but we'll have a look at the checklist. That will give us bigger images and the full list of people. So, this is the Series 3. I'm not sure if they have another one out already, but this is the first one of these that I've opened. Alright, so an R on this side, and you can feel, like, through the paper if you were trying to get, um, like, all the letters. But this one had an X, that's the one that was showing, the other side's an R. So, just flip it down, and you got it. Oh, I think they're adding this. I think you might be able to put your character on that little thing there. That's pretty cool. Because I usually just set it on top there. But here we go. Here's our character. And the checklist and everything else inside. Okay, so it has a little trophy. That's really cute. It says Bloxy Award. So I like the wings. You guys know I like wings. Checklist. Alright. So, oh that face. They're concerned. They look like a, like an assistant or something. And the legs. I'll put you together right here. Sometimes they're easier than others, but there's that so far. And the hair. Alright, so I think it's like little cat ears on there. 
You guys can see that. So it's like anime hair. It's super long in the front. I forgot what this was called. I actually wanted my hair like this at one point. Long in the front and then short in the back. But she doesn't look super happy that she won the award or maybe she's the person giving out the award. And her hair is not staying on very well. Come on, you can hold this. Maybe it's supposed to go out now, okay. I don't know, oh, okay, there it goes. I fit it in like that. But her hair is not on very well. Maybe it's supposed to go the other way? No, definitely not. So it is supposed to go this way, but it's just not super, uh, okay, it's better now, it's better now. But, it does come with the code too. So maybe later I'll see what it is. But I think that's really neat that they do give you that code because that, like sometimes you can spend a lot of money to get some really cool stuff and that gives you some pretty neat things. So here's our checklist. The mystery boxes comes with these. Will you focus? Will you focus? No, you will not focus. Okay. Oh, look at Mad Game Sarah. She's got some bunny ears. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got this one. It is Rasta My Pasta. Sometimes these are like after actual people that play. I don't know if she is. It kind of sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. They've got a Roblox High School. Roblox High School. I don't know why I want to separate. Roblox High School Nurse. And, oh my goodness, there's a wolf. That's uncommon. It's wolves. Wolves Life 3 Pup. Ooh, Ireland. That's pretty cool. So Miss Mimi. Where's the other one? The one, the unicorn one. Okay, so those come in the package then. The unicorn, the mythical unicorn. And then this one's Lunia. Lunia. And it doesn't look like a bunny from here. I mean, the ears kind of, but the wings are really cute. So Queen Mab of the Fae. There's some cute ones. Not all of them. I, I don't like all of them, for sure, but, you know. The mystery boxes, uh, yeah. I did see Dark in it, but I couldn't tell you who the character was, so. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that much of a help. It's almost like the old one. Um, let's see, let's see. We are on to three new questions. I think that, I think we pretty much closed that out, yeah. So, um, <laughs> hey there. Yeah, I like that wolf, too. Hey, Kitty Sands World. A wobble bubble today. I'm not sure. I think that I know what a wobble bubble is, but I'm not sure. I think it's kind of like a plush that's like a big bubble that blows up. That's plush on the outside. <laughs> oh, all right, Snatch Siwa. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you later or another time. Just another time. I think see you later is kind of like the thing you say. But um, all right, we will move on to the next three questions. You guys ready? All right, what is the name of My Little Pony that is typically in charge of the music at parties? So what's the name of the My Little Pony that is typically in charge of the music at parties? <laughs> oh, that would be cool if you could stay for a little longer. It's not Pinkie Pie, guys. She's not the one I'm thinking of. She usually throws the parties, and sometimes she does the music, but there's a pony that is specifically for music. I see the first. Okay, I see, I see somebody. I see one. <laughs> I, see, I see a few that are very close, but I do see one, so let's see. Waiting for one more, guys. <laughs> the super duper party bunny. Nope, it's not super duper party bunny. Okay, so the first one that I see is... I see a lot of people saying pony at the end. So the first one to get it was Casey Rogers with DJ Pawn 3. And DJ Pawn is 
the one. So I'll take DJ Pawn three, and then I'll take DJ Pony right below it. So they might, I know the name that they call themselves is DJ Pawn, but I guess it's DJ Pony. But yeah, I'll take that. So the first one to get it was Casey Rogers. If, you, if you've seen any of Quickie Swirl C's videos, right at the very end of her video is a white pony with blue, like two color blue hair, and then um, glasses on. That's DJ Pawn. So uh, yeah, that is DJ Pawn. And then Dana Usted was right below her with DJ Pony. All right, so can you see that? And then Dana. All right, here's our next question. This one was also a request. Where was YouTuber the Orion Sound born? So like, I think it's like a county over there. Maybe, but two things. So like the country and then like the city or whatever you want to call it. Not sure what they call it there. Lunar Fire. I have a couple of DJ Ponds in my collection too. I've gotten from the blind bags and I think in sets as well where it just came in it. But I've been collecting my little pony for a while. So, uh, where was the YouTuber or the Orion Sound born? Let's see, California. Nope. Australia. Nope. US. Nope. Ontario. Nope. Canada. Nope. <laughs> Not Canada. The Orion Sound. Up, oh, I see one. Let's see. All right, I see two. All right, so the correct answer is Doncaster, England. Chloe, that's 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 in your neighborhood, kind of same country. So um, Doncaster, England. And the first one was Casey Rogers. Casey Rogers. There you go. That's number three for you. And then the second one was, let's see, California, California, Kawaii Panda with Doncaster, England, UK. And there you go. All right, next question, you guys. In Harry Potter, what is the name of the person in charge of trying to catch the golden snitch in Quidditch? So in the game Quidditch, there's a person that's specifically in charge of trying to catch the golden snitch. What is that person called? They are the what? Hello, Kika's World. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have no idea in England where anything is, but I just know it's England, so. <laughs> All right, I see one. I see two. All right, so the first one to get it was Totally Descendants with Seeker. It is, they're called the Seeker. And there you go. Totally Descendants, that's number two. And then the second one, I see someone said, Kelly Panna said Harry Potter, then Totally Descendants said Seeker, then Angelica said Harry Potter, Dana said Derek, Kawaii said Goalie, um, then the Funky Drama Queen said Seeker. So there you go, the Funky Drama Queen, you got it. And there you go, you are in there. All right, so that was our third question there. So we are on to a new blind bag. Yeah, that was the third one, just making sure. So, you are the second one with the correct answer, correct, yes. <laughs> Funky Drama Queen's really happy. Uh, so, we have a lot more questions, so don't worry. And then also, if you don't happen to win this time, um, if your name is in here but you don't win, don't worry. I do a drawing at the end of the month where I put all the uh, names from any time in the month of April or per that month that I had the stream. So this month is obviously April. And I will draw three winners um, in the very last Saturday um, of the month's live stream. But I do this every Saturday, so don't worry also if you don't get in today because you have lots of chances. 
And um, yeah, you have a pretty good chance of getting in there. So uh, we have new blind bag, which one should we do? All right, I see the banana is the first one. Now, Kitty Sam's World I saw was the first one that said banana, and then I saw Kinder and then Wreck-It Ralph. So we'll have to, you'll have to remind me, Kinder and then Wreck-It Ralph. So um, this banana, it was separate, and I'm used to seeing them in three packs, but I did find this up by the front check stand. Um, and they were all separated and I think it was supposed to be like that like it's a one pack because it had like just a UPC on one of them so this is the series 2 one it said on the box so um, it's called bananas and then you just peel it I've never opened one though and it includes one figure one vine one sticker two little friends and seven gemstones so I really like the color of this the purple and blue ombre it was really pretty and I don't know I noticed it after but I don't know if they have different pictures on the back, if this stands for anything, like what you're gonna get inside, or if this is just the series, or whatever. But this one has a palm tree. So I'm curious and I have to figure that out now. I gotta find out. So we'll find out what we've got inside, if I can get the zipper today. All right. <laughs> I got a little bit of it. Oh, that would be forever to unwrap it like that. Let's keep trying. Oh, there we go. I did it. All right, now I believe I just peel this from the top. Is there? It's just shiny. It looks like there's another wrapper, but there's not. So just peel it down. Peel it down. Does it smell? I don't know if it's supposed to smell, but it does smell. Let me see. It smells like a pick me pop. Hold on. Okay, if anyone knows those circus peanut candies, that's what it reminds me of too. That's what it smells like. So inside, you got this blind bag and then this one. So I don't know, are they really, really tiny? Oh, they are really tiny. Okay, and then there's a checklist and then there's another bag back here. So, ah, and I know you can attach these together too. I didn't say that, but I know you can make like a whole bunch. So one pops in here and one clips on there. So close our banana back up. And then our blind bag. So I've never opened, never seen one open either. So I don't know what's gonna be in what bag, but they all just feel like little things. But here we go. Oh, okay, here's our gemstones. And it's not a figure, unless it is a figure. Okay, maybe it's a figure. So this is like a little pear. I don't know, it's like a little pear bug or something. The little legs there. I wish this would focus up close. It's just not happening today. So there we go. Little pear bug, purple. And it's rubbery. I'm gonna say, I wouldn't say it's like squishy. It's not squishy, it's just rubbery. But I also got this little tiny baby banana like caterpillar thing. How frustrating. I hate when things don't focus. All right, but then we got our gemstones. Let's see, there's seven. Okay, yeah, I'm holding it to it. So yeah, I've got three purple hearts, uh, green, light pink, dark pink, and a purple little circle one. So I don't know, what do we do? Decorate them with those? I am not sure. So this is something big. I don't know what's in this. Forgot what it said it had already. Okay, so it's like a, oh, a sticker. I'm not sure, there's like a chameleon maybe? The monkey chameleon? I don't know, just because of the way that this all looks. So here it is, and I don't know, I was going to say maybe the figures go inside, like the little lunchbox, but no. Pretty paint job though, it reminds me of like the Coco, for the Disney movie Coco. There's our figure. Now what's in here? Because I thought we were getting like six figures or something. Did I remember this song? Okay, so it's seven gems, two little figures. Okay, so I did get the little figures. I don't know why I thought I was getting six figures. Oh, that's not enough. Okay, so what is this? All right. I guess this is like a holder for it. Okay, I'm confused, thoroughly confused. Okay, here. Probably supposed to go like that. And then, what do I do? Do I hang it on something? I'm not sure, but I think this goes right here. So I don't know what it hangs on. Maybe like the pictures on the checklist will help me out, guys. All right. We will check this out now. 
So bananas, bananas, boa, ba, bo, bab, I don't know what that word is. It's bo, bab, tree bunch. There's common rares and ultra rares. So there's a giraffe, princess unicorn, Andrew Monkey, Lucy Leopard, Pippa Panda. And then there's a penguin, a sloth, a spider, and a tiger. No, I did not get the tiger. A turtle, Katie Cat, Lucy Lizard, or Lacey Lizard, I'm sorry. Pia Pig, Buddy Rhino. Oh man, I thought that was a bunny. Candace Chameleon. BFF is Lady Connie Corgi. So I guess they've got best friends. But um, yeah. Here we go. Um, jellyfish, Hermione, hamster, an owl, a goat, a unicorn. I'm just like looking for a bunny and it's not there. Elephant, koala, cow, and rooster. What is wrong with them? Where's the bunny? I mean, like, you got like a spider. How uncommon is that to have as things? And I think you've got like two lizards or you've got a chameleon and a lizard, man. You could have done like a bunny. And they got two unicorns, but unicorns are popular. I get that. But I mean, come on, where's the bunny? All right, so I think I've got a common, yeah, she's a common. But um, it doesn't have a checklist for the little ones. That's really weird. I would have liked to have known the little ones. So I don't, I don't know how this works. Are you, it hangs on the banana, on the inside of the banana. Does it hang on the inside of the banana? Did I do this backwards? Oh man, I'm so confused. On the inside? I was gonna see if it hung in there. Man, okay, maybe it hangs on this. I don't know, you're supposed to hang it like that? I don't know about this. I will have to look it up and see like what I'm supposed to do, but like I wouldn't want to sit there and hold this, you know? What am I supposed to do? And then where do these guys go? They should have had a little stand on there for them too. So, all right, and maybe you're supposed to decorate your banana with the gemstones. I don't know. This is my first one. I didn't, like, do any research on this. I just said, okay, these are cool. These are new. I want to get one. But, yeah, um, mixed feelings about these. I'm not, there's no bunny, so, I mean, they already struck out there with me. But, yeah, I think I'll probably end up giving that away, guys. So, I probably won't be collecting those. But we are on to our next questions. You guys ready? Hello, Kylie Sparkles. Hello, Nina's Toy Shop. Welcome. Hangs inside the banana. I couldn't, I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> All right, here's our next set of questions, guys. What is the name of the LOL Surprise Big Sister doll that is pictured on the front of the fake LOL Surprise ball that I opened? So I found a bunch of the fake LOL Surprise doll balls and um, I opened one of them up and posted it. It was a while back, but there was a doll on the front. What is the name of the doll that was pictured on the front of that ball? Let's see if you guys can remember. This one's a little bit hard. <laughs> Is everybody drawing a blank? I'll give you a hint. She is in the Glitterati. Nope, it's not punk. <laughs> I thought I put this one on my side. I'm not sure though. She's in the glitterati and she's got uh, she's got a suit on. Right, I see, I see one. Let's see if somebody else sees it and gets it in there. All right, I see two guys. So I see a couple of people said punk, VR cutie, and then um, finally I see Kitty Sam's World got it with Boss Queen. So Kitty Sam's World. It was a very interesting ball. It came with some weird things in it, but um, I think the best part of it, if I remember right, is that the ball glow in the, glowed in the dark. Um, and so I thought that was pretty cool, but it had like this little ball that like lit up. Um, and you had to like, it had no purpose. It wasn't, it wasn't even like in something. You just had to like put it in the ball and shake it. It didn't have any directions, but yeah, it was definitely odd. 
So after Kitty Sam's World, I saw Queen Bee, Glitter Queen, but then Chloe Davis came in with Boss Queen. So Chloe Davis. There you go. Two for ya. Um, so here we go. Next question. This is actually a request too. So what type of Pokemon is Vaporeon? What type of Pokemon is it? What type of Pokemon is Vaporeon? You're welcome, Chloe. Yeah, it was very weird, wasn't it? The doll, it's just really weird. The dolls are really weird, but I will say that I think it was one of the better fakes because I've seen some really, really weird looking ones. All right, I see one and I see two. All right, so the question was, what type of Pokemon is Vaporeon? Vaporeon is a water Pokemon. So Kylie Sparkles got it. It was the very first one to get it. So Kylie Sparkles. Oops. And there you go. And the second one to get it was, oh, Kylie then said air, Kitty Samsel said bunny, Kylie said wind, Chloe said water. So Chloe, you were the next. Chloe Davis. All right, and that's three on you. All right, so then after Chloe, let's see, then Kawaii Panic came in, then Kitty Sam's World said air, then Dana Usted said air, uh, Christina Payne then said water type, Chloe Davis said ice, no, um, Glaceon is the um, Eevee Evolution, that's the ice one. Nina's Toy Shop said air. Um, I don't think there's an air one for, no, I don't think there's an air one for Eevee, is there, guys? Oh, she guessed it. So Angelica loves anything said water, oh yeah. Um, getting so many this live video. Yeah, you are, Chloe. Uh, so, all right, here is the next question. This I actually asked in my last live stream. So let's see if you guys remember. I did say I would, I would ask it, so here it goes. It's a 50-50 shot. You probably could get it anyway, but what do I prefer, silver or gold? So jewelry-wise, it's usually, but what do I prefer, silver or gold? Yep, Jen, I am still going. All right, the first one to grab it. Let's see, let's see. What do I prefer, silver or gold? All right, so the first one to get it was Kawaii Panda. I do prefer silver. I don't know, I just don't pull off gold as well. I think silver goes with more things, but I mean, I'm sure gold does too, but like, just to me, like from, from my eyes, like I'm drawn to silver. So Kawaii Panda, that's number four for you. And then the second one was, um, oh, nope, not, not gold, Kika's World, then Amalia said gold, Kawaii Panda said silver again, Totally Descendant said silver, so there you go. Totally Descendants. And there you go. That's number three on you. All right, so that was our third question. And if I remember correctly, you guys wanted to see the Kinder Joy opened. So um, this is a Disney Princess Kinder Joy. It's already blurry on its own. My camera is not doing it any better justice. But um, I opened up one of these. I didn't share it with you guys. Like, I had it on my own. And I got Pascal from Tangled, what's on her shoulder there. And then I opened one up in a stream, and I got Pascal again. So, um, I have no idea. But yeah, I posted this, and I was like, you guys already know the back half is gone. Yeah, that was gone, like, right after I got it. So, here we go. Oh, something different. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that looks like Mushu from Mulan. Oh, yeah. Here's a picture of him right there, Mushu. So, we will assemble him. And he's got, like, this uh, dragon mask, which is pretty cool. He's so skinny. He's such a pitiful dragon. He's so, so small. I want to say that this could go in better. I did it a little bit better, but the front then comes a little off. So the paint doesn't line up super, super great, but, you know, it's, it's still pretty good for what it is. But let's see what the instructions tell us to do regarding that mask. Okay, so we set him down in that, and then we can put the mask on him. Oh, and then I guess you can draw... What is it a shape of? Is it a shape of a dragon or something right there? Because it shows us drawing it, using it like a stencil. 
I'm not quite sure. What do you guys think this is? Do you think this is a picture of kind of looks like a long llama, like a Dachshund and a llama had a baby and it's a Dasha llama. But um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be the dragon. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this it doesn't say to color that. So Kitty Sam's World said that I miss your comments. Uh, let me see. Um, I'm looking and you're talking probably about the the last one, right? No, you came in. I'll read out the way that it came in, guys. It came in. Um, first was Kawaii Panda, then Totally Descendants, Dana Usted, Kylie Sparkles, Chloe Davis, Casey Rogers, then you, Kitty Sam's World. Then Kylie Sparkles said gold, then Angelica said gold, then Christina Payne said silver. So, yeah, it was it was pretty far down there. So, um, all right, here we go. We will put him in there. At least it has like part of this easy to tell. I'm supposed to put this in first. Ah, it's a little difficult. His toes are like kind of, there it goes, there it goes. Once you get it in, it's really easy. And then his face, I guess maybe it just kind of sits on there. So there we go. So he's pretending to be a bigger dragon than he is. So that's kind of cute. It's one of the better Kinder Surprise toys, I want to say, because the ones that don't have any theme to them, sometimes those ones can just be like, eh, like not even fun at all. So, but this one is definitely like one of the better ones. The Disney ones are pretty good. So, oh, the other side, we'll show you. It's just a little poster thing. So I think that you're probably going to be able to get this mouse and Cinderella and her and her. I know the box, the display at the store has it, but I don't think I took a picture. So there you go. So we are on to three new questions. Yeah, a dragon. Jen A says yes. She thinks that's supposed to be a stencil of a dragon. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why everyone's chat says different either. Sorry about that, Kitty Sam's World. So that's why I just said whatever it shows up for me, it'll show up different for me every time. It'll show up different for everybody, and it's just, uh, it's, I don't know why. It's so weird. It is really weird. So, all right, here is our next question, guys. In Harry Potter, what house is Draco Malfoy in? So there's four houses in the um, Harry Potter movies, uh, but which one is Draco Malfoy in? What is the name of the house that Draco Malfoy got put in, guys? This one's pretty easy. No, not that one. Oh, I see one. And I see two. All right, so the first person to come in with any answer was Amalia, but she said Gryffindor. Angelica Loves Anything was the first one, and she got Slytherin. So I wasn't going to hit you guys on the spelling on this one just because... You know, it's kind of like tricky if you think Slither the word and then, you know, then you think Harry Potter, they spell a little bit different. So the first one is, and then I don't know why. Also, it's blocking Kitty Sims World comments too. And Jen A's, let me just prove these real quick because there's nothing wrong with these ones. All right, here we go. So the first one again was Angelica Loves Anything. Ugh, oh, I can't write <laughs> anything. It's like really sloppy. Read that E, but there we go. Angelica loves anything. And then the second one is do 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 Totally Descendants came in right after Angelica with Slytherin. So totally descendants. And totally descendant says number four for you. You're doing good. All right, so I'll read off who came in after that. So after totally descendants, Kylie said Hufflepuff. Then Kitty Sam's World said Slytherin. Kawaii Panda said Slytherab. Slytherab. Then Jen A said Slytherin. Uh, Kawaii Panda then said Slytherin. And then Kylie Sparkles said Slytherin. There are so many different ways that you guys spell this. <laughs> um, so Kylie Sparkles said Slytherin, Kawaii Panda said Slytherin, Slytherin, so many different variations in spelling. Dana said said Hufflepuff. Um, Kylie Sparkles said she should start reading Harry Potter. There are a lot of questions on it. I get a lot of requests for Harry Potter, so um, yeah. But you could also watch the movies, but reading is good. I don't know why I would discourage you from reading. I'm not discouraging you. Definitely read. 
So reading's good. It helps you in so many ways. You get faster at reading. It expands your vocabulary. It helps you with your sentence structure. It's just really, really good. I love reading. So, um, all right, here's our next question. <laughs> Jen A asked her dad for that one. <laughs> Sometimes it helps, you know, you're like, mom, what's this? Or dad, what's this? Yeah, I know a lot of people that actually do have their parents there helping them with the answers, so it's pretty neat. All right, so here's our question. What LOL surprise doll in the Bling series has green bows on her dress? So what LOL surprise doll in the Bling series has green bows on her dress? On the front, like on the skirt. Let's do that. On the front, on the skirt. <clears throat> so what, <clears throat> excuse me, what LOL surprise doll in the Bling series has green bows on her dress, like on the skirt part? <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see one, and I see two. All right, so. I do have spelling for this one. So I see Coconut Cutie. Nope, not Coconut Cutie. She's actually not even in this one, um, the Bling series ones. Uh, she is in the glitter, the glam glitter ones, but she doesn't have the green bows on her dress. So the first one to get it was Kitty Sam's World with Pranksta. And then the second one after that, uh, Kylie Sparkle said Coconut Cutie. Kawaii Panda said Cutie. Amalia said Coconut. Kika's World said Prankster. But it's Prankster, so Chloe Davis was the next one with Prankster. They spell it with a S-T-A at the end. So it's Kitty Sam's World. And that's number two for ya. And then Chloe Davis. And I'll continue reading off those names just so you guys know which order I'm seeing them in. Chloe, that's number four, great. All right, so uh, let's see, let's see. After Chloe was Kawaii Panda, and then Kawaii Panda said Coconut, then Kitty Sam said Coconut Cutie, then Christine Payne said Belle. Belle is actually, is she even a, she's from Disney, she's a princess, but I don't know that they have an LOL surprise doll named Belle yet, unless it's the name of the new one. So um, Christina Payne then said Prankster, and Chloe says thank you, you're welcome, and Kylie Sparkle said you're welcome. So, all right, here we go. Um, next question, and this is the last for this little trio. So, also another request, you guys. What, um, let's see, what is the next evolution after Baneri? This is Pokemon. So, what is the next evolution after Baneri? So, Baneri is so cute. It's a little brown Pokemon bunny with, like, little fluffy, like, kind of off-white tufts of, like, fluff on its body. Super cute. So what is the next evolution after Baneri? Oh, not what type of Pokemon it is it, but what is the next evolution after it? So just like uh, Charmander would change into Charmeleon and then they, or evolve into Charmeleon and they would evolve into Charizard, Baneri would evolve into what? Ooh, is this a hard one? Oh, I'm tricking you guys. The person that actually requested this, I do not see them here. So, let's see. <laughs> Bulbapedia. It's like Wikipedia, Wikipedia for Bulbasaur, but nope, that's not it. So, Baneri, the bunny one. I do see one, so let's see. I'm not gonna say the name, I'll just write it right now. All right. Okay, here we go. Angelica Loves Anything was the first one. It's Lopunny. So like a bunny, they have a, a lop. That's the one with like the long ears. So they kind of combine like the lop with bunny. So they like call it Lopunny. Lopunny. So um, Angelica Loves Everything was the first one. And then the next one was Chloe Davis that got it. So Chloe. Davis. And there you are. And that's number five for you. So here you go. Um, what was that first one? Angelica. Okay. So that's number three. You got Angelica. Great job. 
Hello, just your everyday weird. You are so welcome, Chloe. All right, so that was our third one for that. And we are on to a new blind bag. And if I remember correctly, once again, I believe it was the Wreck-It Ralph. So I did get these from um, GameStop. I'd seen people posting about them. They had like this blind bag special where all their blind, well, not all their blind bags, but a lot of the um, like older ones were a dollar. And this was one of the ones that was a dollar. So um, I grabbed, they only had two of these and they didn't have too, too many left, but um, I did manage to grab two of these. But this is the Disney's Wreck-It uh, Ralph, it's Wreck-It Ralph, but it's Ralph Breaks the Internet, Mystery Minis, uh, vinyl figure, and it's Funko. So I did ask you guys which one you thought I would really want, um, and you guys know me so well. Of course I want the bunny one, Fun Bun. The bunny gets the pancakes, and I like my pancakes. I like Kodiak cake pancakes the best. But um, someone did guess Vanellope, and she's also another really cute one that I would like to get, that one or that one. So I can't really say that I would want any other ones. <laughs> I'd only want the Vanellope's or the Fun Bun. So I really hope that I have Fun Bun in here. But um, yeah, this is, like I said, a Funko. And those, I mean, for a, a dollar for a Funko. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I get the Fun Bun. I mean, it's a one in 12 chance. They're all like the same odds, but I mean, it was like the remnants of the box and it was sold. So like, I don't know what the chances are, but we will see. So here we go. Fun bun, fun bun, because I have a large Funko fun bun. So I'm hoping I've got the mini one to this. All right, let's see, through the bag. Oh, no, no way, you guys. It totally feels... These are bunny ears. I know this is it. I know this is it. Okay, just rip it open, rip it open. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's Fun Bun. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. What are the chances to get the Fun Bun? Oh my gosh. Okay, this has made my day. I am so happy now. I have the Fun Bun Funko, like the big pop in the box. And now I have the little mini one. Look, and he's got the pancake syrup coming out of his mouth. He's got a stack of pancakes. Look at how big he's got on Mark, I don't care. Um, but he's got, <laughs> he's so full. Look at how little his legs are. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. He's solid, he's just solid like a rock. Oh, this poor bunny, and, and then he blows up. It's so sad. Doesn't show anything, but we know what happened. But Fun Bun is so cute. Like, I just love that whole little cutout scene. This is so cool. Oh, this is my favorite toy by far that I've opened so far. I think it's gonna remain my favorite toy. This is so cool. This is awesome. This is the best. No, it actually has a name. It's Fun Bun. Angelica wanted to name the bunny, but you could give him a secondary name, like a nickname. This is Fun Bun, though, because it's a fun bunny. He likes pancakes. Do you think this is a boy or a girl? I think it's a boy. Fun bun in the movie looked like a boy, but oh my goodness, I love it. I love the bunny. Here's the bottom in case you wanted to see it. I don't know why you'd want to see the bottom, but I mean, look at everything is so cute. I'm, I'm totally happy. So stoked about that one. Oh, the bunny. <laughs> at least he won't blow up. Floppy sugar bunny. We can name him floppy sugar bunny, sure. So Funkos are the best. I love the Funkos. Ilse Miranda, hello, welcome. So, oh my gosh, I got the bunny. I'm just so happy. What are the chances? Ah! Like, you know how hard it is to get, like, anything you want in, like, one of these? Like, and that's, like, really the only one I would want. I mean, like I said, these two, too. But I want the bunny. I got the bunny. I'm so happy. So happy. Oh, Jen A has a bunny, and her name is Snooky. That's a really cute name. Yeah, the kitty gets the milkshakes and the bunny gets the pancakes. Yeah, they should make the kitty gets the pancakes or the milkshakes. That one is also a really popular character. But I guess it's more so because of what they did to the bunny that it gets more attention than the kitty. But still, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't even remember who this is and I've seen the movie. I can't. Oh no, I know who that is. Never mind. I take it back. That's the, um,. The racer girl. But I mean, I wouldn't want that one. I guess there's people that really like that kind of thing. But then they put two Vanellope's, so they should have just made one of her and done the kitty. And that guy is like not that great. I mean, there's like a lot they could have done. So yeah, I mean, the kitty definitely needs more items, but they don't have anything for it. So uh, yeah, that's that's a bummer. But um, all right, so we are on to our next three questions. You guys ready? Get your fingers on there, get ready. It is so cute, isn't it? Neon stars up. Please, I love my buddy. I love it. I love it. It's going right on top of my Funko. 
I only have six Fun no seven Funkos now to my collection, but um, I actually have one, two, three, four, five blind bags left, and then the candy stampers. So, uh, yep. All right, so here we go. Who is the 23rd President of the United States? This one I believe is on my site, so you guys gotta get that spelling right. Who is the 23rd President of the United States? The Funky Drama Queen. Please let you know if you won. Um, let's see. I draw the winner at the end of the stream, so you have any time between the end of the stream and um, when I go live next week, if you have to leave right now, then to check it, just check the end of the video to see if I drew your name out. <laughs> Jen A, I thought you were the one that said that you were new and you were from Canada. So Jen A is Canadian. George Bush is your guest. No, George Bush was in a, I think he was like in the 50s. I'm not sure what name, so or what number. Um, so let's see. The question was, what? who is the 23rd president of the United States? And I'm seeing one, two. All right, so the first one to get it was Kylie Sparkles. Benjamin Harrison is correct. One of these little guys came over here. So Kylie Sparkles. And that's two on you. All right, so the next one to get that was, let's see, let's see, let's see, hmm, I lost it, okay, so Benjamin Harrison, George Bush, nope, and then Lincoln, nope, uh, the Funky Drama Queen said Benjamin Harrison, yes, it is, the Funky Drama Queen. And also, don't forget, if you do get your name here today, at the end of the month, the last Saturday of the month of April, I will do a giveaway, like a grand prize one, where I draw three names from anybody who's got their name entered in. So, um, yeah. So you get, like, a secondary chance to win, which is always really nice. So, all right. After that, I saw... I'll read them off. Then Just Treat Everyday Weird came in. Then Kitty Sam's World. Um, Angelica has said um, Chester A. Arthur. Nope. Then Jen A. said Lincoln. Then Kawaii Panda said Benjamin Harris. Um, Faith Martin said hello. Hello. Uh, Kawaii Panda said Abraham Lincoln. Dana Usted said Lincoln. Kawaii said FDR. Um, and then Nina's Toy Shop said Benjamin Harris. And then Kawaii Panda said Barack Obama. No, no. He was just the most recent president, right before Donald Trump, then Kawhi, and then, then they said Donald Trump, so nope, nope, nope. But, um, yeah, so let's say, um, I have two more questions right here to ask you guys, so, you ready? What is the name of Henry Danger's little sister? So, what is the name of Henry Danger's little sister? Ilse Miranda, no, I'm sorry, I didn't see your comment on there. Um, oh, she said, I love you. Ilse Miranda said, she loves me. Thank you so much. That's really, really sweet. So, all right. What is the name of Henry Danger's little sister? Jen A says, Harmony? Harmony? Were you trying to say Harmony? But nope, that's Harry Potter. So the first one I see is Kylie Sparkles with Piper. So Kylie Sparkles, there you go, that's three. So Kylie Sparkles. It is Piper. And then right after Kylie Sparkles came in Kitty Sam's World. All right. So Kitty Sam's World doing good. Got three in there. All right. So she says, oops, I've been the third. Right after Kitty Sam's World, um, I saw Faith with Piper Heart, then the Funky Drama Queen with Piper, Nina's Toy Shop said Piper, Jen A said Harmony again, um, Kitty Sam's World said Piper Heart, then Kika's World said Piper, a little bit spilling, but then Kawaii said Harnani. What is Harnani? Maybe he has another sister, but Piper is so I was looking for if that was the case. So just your everyday weird said Piper, then Jen A said Piper, Kawaii Panda said Piper, Christina said Piper, Dana Usted said uh, Paper. <laughs> uh, oh no, the funky drama queen says, oops, I've been the third. 
Um, let's see. Um, oh, no, Jenna says you're no good at this. Don't give up. Don't give up because I actually, I mean, tons of people always say they're never good at it and they're never going to get it, but someone um, that actually thought so about halfway through the stream, I think it was the last stream or the stream before that, they had just joined. It was their first time. Their sister had been the one that usually played. And then ended up getting five entries, the full, the max, and then they won. So don't give up. If you give up, then you definitely won't. But just keep trying. And then I do it every Saturday, so once a week. That's a really good chance. It's plus the one at the end of the month. You know, so don't give up. Don't give up. Keep trying. So um, let's see. Let's see. Um, one more question, and then we go on to another blind bag. So... How many LOL Surprise dolls in the Glam Glitter series have their hair up in one ponytail? So how many LOL Surprise dolls in the Glam Glitter series have their hair up in one ponytail? A lot of them have their hair up, but how many of them have them up in a ponytail? Not in a bun, but in a ponytail. So they have up in one ponytail. Just keep swimming. That's right. Kitty Sam's World's got it right. Just keep swimming. Oh, good night, Funky Drama Queen. All right, I see one. You guys are guessing all around it. All right, so I see one. I see two. First, I see Kylie Sparkle said four. Kawaii Panda said seven. Then Kylie said five. Then she said six. Then she's uh, Kawaii Panda said four. Then I see another four, two. Kitty Sam's World was the first one that got it with three. So, Kitty Sam's World. And that's number four for ya. Alright, and then... See, Kawaii Panda said five, then I see an eight, then a four, then a two, then a five, then a two, then a two, then a six, then a two, then a two, then Kawaii Panda said three. And it is three. Kawaii Panda. And I will show you guys. I did forget to show you who had the bows on her skirt, so I will show you that as well. I totally forgot about that. So, this is for the bows on the skirt, so I don't know why. Hopefully I can resolve that by the next stream, but you can see nobody's got the green bows except for Prankster. Uh, nobody else has got the green bows. So, Troublemaker has a green bow on the back, but it's not really on her skirt. It's just kind of tied around, so there you go. But in this case, the three people that have it up are... Kitty Queen. You can see it's in a ponytail up there. That's not. That's not. That's two buns. Also Spice. She has it up in one ponytail. Coconut Cutie. Nope. She's got it down in two braids. Core Champ's got it up in two little fluff buns. And then she has it up in a bun. So it baby. DJ. Nope. And Neon Cutie. She has it up in a ponytail. Curious Cutie. Nope. She's got it up in two buns. And Burr Baby. She's got it down in two ponytails. Her hat is deceiving. But then she's got it over here. Cherry in two ponytails on the side. So there's just the three. This one, this one, and this one. So three was the right answer. Good job, you guys. All right. So what is the next blind bags you guys would like to see me open? And hello. Hello, Aaliyah Jones. Welcome. So we've got the Lock Stars, the Squeeshim, the Grumblies, the Smooshy Mushy, and the My Little Pony. So we actually have five blind bags. We've got a lot of blind bags. I thought we had five last time, but I forgot. I think this one, I think that's the one I forgot to count. All right, so I see Pony first. So I was hoping a long time ago that you guys would have picked this one for me to open, but it never happened. So I ended up putting like a different kind of description for it. So it's a squishy because Mashems aren't always the favorite. We'll be honest here, but then Mashmallows, but it's a squishy. They call it a squeezy. I don't know why they don't just call it a squishy, but... I had seen these for a long time. A few of my, um, you know, YouTube friends had had these, and I saw them. I know in the UK, like Paige XOXO, she had these, and it was driving me crazy because she kept getting them, and I couldn't find them anywhere. But then I found like a couple random ones by themselves at the store, and I never saw them again. And I was like bumming so much because there was one in specific I wanted. If you guys know my favorite My Little Pony, it is Princess Luna, and they have a My Little Pony Princess Luna squishy. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm able to get it, but it has these little cheat holes right here that you can move the squishy around to see the color. And so guys, I believe Princess Luna's in here. 
fingers crossed I'm right because the only other pony with like the purple that they had was like rarity or not rarity but it could have been rarity but I, don't, I didn't see any white or um, twilight sparkle so I'm hoping that it is the one but um, basic fun toys Hasbro and yeah Mashems but yeah um, it feels kind of like it's maybe like an okay squishy not the greatest but um, yeah so I don't know where to cut it because I like the packaging just know I like to keep the packaging as much as I can. All right, so that's the best I can do. What do we see? Oh, that's definitely Princess Dana. Look it. Oh, I'm a little bit bummed. It looks a little weird how they attach the things, but you know, okay. It's not the greatest, guys. It's bummed. I'm bumming. There's like a little off thing on her eye right there, and then the little, you know, adhesive or whatever they use to attach attach the eyes, like the sticker thing. You can totally see it across the squishy and then her little um, cutie mark there. So her wings have a hole in it too. I might have to call and complain because I'm not satisfied. It should be, should be a little bit better. I mean, it's like really off. There's even like stuff down here where there shouldn't be. You can see it in the reflection there. It's just not as great of quality. And this, this one wasn't cheap. So it was like something like $6, I think, for this. Five or six. She has her crown, and it's not the greatest. But, you know, I mean, I got what I wanted at least. So it's just not the greatest condition. And her thing should have more detail on it. I don't know. So I guess it was too hard to do the detail. But, yeah, airbrushed other than that on the other colors. But, um, yeah, there is the squishy. It's not the greatest. Oh, there's the bottom for you, 2017 Basic Fun Toys. So she will sit right here and wait, but there is no checklist, so. But if you guys happen to find those, you can tell which one you got by those little holes. So, bye Nina's Toy Shop, thank you for coming. Yeah, I know, my lives go for a while, so unless you've got like a couple hours to devote to it, then you probably aren't able to stay for the whole thing, so. Oh, Casey Rogers is back, welcome back. All right, so we have three new questions. Are you guys ready? I'll open up the candy um, after these three questions since I saw a request for the candy. <laughs> the candies don't count as a blind bag, but I'll open them and then I'll open up a toy, so. All right, here we go. This is actually about who we just got, too. So, here is your question. When My Little Pony, Princess Luna, is being evil, or her evil form, what is she called? So what is Princess Luna's evil form called? When she's the evil pony, what is her name then? I love the colors on it. That purple, that dark, dark purple, kind of almost bluish, it's just so pretty. So what is she called when she is in her evil form? All right, I see two already. So the first one is Just Your Everyday Weird with Nightmare Moon. And then I see Casey Rogers said Queen Chrysalis. No, Queen Chrysalis is not on um, the same pony. She's dark and then she's black on her body and then she's got like a green, kind of like two-tone green on her wings with holes in them. But she is actually um, the queen of those minions that have the um, ability to change shape to like look like any pony they want. So yeah, no, that's Queen Chrysalis. So Kawaii Panda was the next one after that with Nightmare Moon. Then Kylie Sparkles, then Kath Kaylin Rothelieu, then Jen A, then Kika's World, then Casey's Rogers, then Kitty Sam's World, then Aaliyah Jones. Um, then Kika's World had fixed her, um, her spelling on that. So yeah, you guys all got that name though right after that. So first one was Just Your Everyday Weird. Great job. Again, writing really quick. <laughs> so, all right. That, I believe, is your first one. And then the next one was Kawaii Panda. Yep. And that is number five for you, Kawaii Panda. But you guys can always keep guessing if you get over five, but um, I'll read off that you got it first, but then I move on to the next first one. Or the next one after that that got it. So, just every word, yay! <laughs> All right, here's your next question, guys. What is the name of the main red car in the Disney movie Cars? So spell this one right, guys. This one's easy. So in the Disney movie Cars, what is the name of the main red car?
Two names, two names, quick. He's got like a first and last name. All right, Jen A got it. She actually did it in two comments, Lightning and then McQueen. So, um, let's see. Jen A. Jen A. Great job, and you thought you weren't gonna get one. You see, there you go. And then I see a spelling on Just Every Do Weird, and then Kylie Sparkles says Lightning McQueen. So Kylie Sparkles, you got another one. And Kylie Sparkles, that's number four for ya. So after Kylie Sparkles came in Kitty Sam's World, then Angelica Loves Everything, then Casey Rogers, then Christina Payne, then Totally Descendants, Just Your Everyday Weird, and then Jen says, yay! Um, and her keyboard backed out there too. Oh no! But it worked out though. So, all right, here's your next question, guys. What type of Pokemon is Saviper? What type of Pokemon is Saviper? Maybe it's called Sea Viper, but it's Saviper. I'm not sure. So, what type of Pokemon is Saviper? S E V I P E R is how it's spelled. So, what type of Pokemon is Saviper? This is tricky because just by the name, when I first heard it, I was like, eh, I don't know. I think I knew it, but nope, it's not what you think. So, all right, here we go. The first person to get it. I see a lot of people typing in water, air, fire, but the actual um, type of Pokemon that it is is poison. So think about a, a poisonous um, snake, the vipers. They're poison. So, uh, yes, yeah, a viper. It's not like a sea viper, like where it would be water, because that's what I thought, too. My first thought was water. So the first one was Christina Payne. Christina Payne, great job. I believe that's your first one there, so congrats. And just writing it down. And then the next person was Kylie Sparkles, and you got number five there, so great job. And there you are. You're getting full. Okay, make them fall down. So, all right, um, yep. The Viper is a poison Pokemon. So we are on to our next blind bag. Actually, we said we were gonna do the candies, didn't we? So here we go. Candy Stampers. So I found these at Target. It was only a dollar. So it comes with 12 totally edible stampers. They're fruit flavored. Lick them, stamp them, eat them. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Easter collection. So I believe these are all the different stamps you could get. You can get a bunny, a chick, a flower, a butterfly, and an Easter basket. Uh, let me check something really quick. Oh, okay, I'm good for a little bit. So, um, yeah, oh no, and there's one more. It says Happy Easter. So, oh, uh, there's another one. So there's five on here, and there's eight on the background. So these are all the different ones. So this is actually made by the Concord Confections and they are a division of Tootsie Roll Limited. So if anybody saw my tag on there, I tagged Tootsie Roll. It looked weird just because Tootsie Roll, this is not Tootsie Roll, but they are a division of Tootsie Roll. So we'll see how it works. I'll find a bunny one and the bunnies. All right, so I see Grumbly's next. All right, we'll try that Grumbly's out. So here we go. This one is a flower stamper with like a purple top. And here's an egg one, green top. This one says, Happy Easter. I'll actually throw a few of these in to whoever wins, too. So, And here's another egg. It's got like a kind of purplish red top, a basket. I better get a bunny in this. That will be so sad. Another one that says, Happy Easter. Ah! All right. Um, oh, a bunny. OK, we got a green bottomed bunny and like a purplish red top. So up here's a butterfly one. And then another butterfly. Oh, a bunny, a different one. Okay, there's like a, a face of a bunny and then there's the body and the whole bunny. So I got these ones and then there's another basket. Sorry, <laughs> whoever gets them won't be getting a bunny. 
There's a chick. And then an egg in blue on the bottom, so whatever color that will be. And then a butterfly. So there was only two bunnies, one of each kind in the whole thing. So here we go, we'll try it out. We've got to lick it and then stamp it on ourselves. So there's the bunny. Really cute. So just lick it. And then let's see. It kind of came out. I mean, I'm not expecting like perfection, but that was decent. Yeah, it worked better the first time. Okay, it's okay. It's decent. It's not like the greatest and it's like not a super flat area. Maybe here. You gotta lick it again. Okay, so I'm gonna have all these red spots on this hand. <laughs> And I will try the other one. And it's tasty. They taste good. Reminds me of the lollipops with the picture on that you put on your tongue and it leaves a flower. Huh. I don't know if I remember those lollipops. I like the Fruit Stripes gum on the wrapper. Like you have to lick your hand and then put the wrapper on there or lick, you know, whatever you're going to stick it on and then um, do that. And also, what's another one? I just had it, but I totally forgot it. Okay, we'll try this one out. Mm, try it on like a flatter area. There you go. That's decent. You guys can see that. Let's try it right here. This is a pretty good spot. Okay, so it's not that bad. I'm sure like if you try to like a little bit better, you could probably get a better picture. But there you go. You can see it. I mean, we're not looking for, for perfection. We know this and it's just a little candy. So, but I like the candy. I get to eat the candy later. Here we go. So, I have red and green stamps, <laughs> so if anybody comes in later and they only see like my hands like this, they're totally going to wonder what happened. They're like, oh, she must have got a stamper or something. They don't even know it's a candy stamper. So um, there was another thing that like you did the, um, oh, fruit roll-ups. They had fruit roll-ups where they had the prints on them where you put the fruit roll-up on your tongue, the print part, and it would um, leave a print on your tongue too. So I don't remember the lollipops though. How sticky is my hand? My hand isn't sticky at all, actually. It's not sticky at all. So, <laughs> yeah, fruit roll-ups. Um, you guys know what fruit roll-ups are, right? All right, Casey Rogers has to go, uh, but they'll be back on later. So you'll see me next Saturday. Yep, you will. And uh, let's see. Bye, Casey. Yep, bye, Casey. All right, so we are doing a blind bag, the Grumblies. So, um, the Grumblies Maniacs. So it's a play on Maniacs, but it's mini because they're the small version of the Grumblies. So Grumblies Maniacs, um, small size, major meltdown, and then it's in French, I think. Series 1. So I don't know if they'll come out with a Series 2, but um, I have not played with the regular size Grumblies either myself. And as far as I know, there's like no hack to this unless someone does like a full box unboxing and there's placement. But um, there's no holes or anything and they don't have like a scent to them. So just a total surprise for you guys and I'm not like collecting these so yeah, we'll just see who I got actually save that because I'm sure I'm giving it away oh we got like a white colored hair I think the red one on the front has white color but checklist love the checklist so it comes with that little container holder for your grumbly okay come on out reminds me of the troll hair oh wow that's an interesting one that's definitely pretty cool so he's an odd looking one. I've never seen this one, but it kind of reminds me of the uh, the cactus. What is it, the uh, Neo Star? <laughs> they have like the little bear in the cactus suit. I don't know why that's the first thing that came to mind, but it is. It's got all those little nubbies on it, but um, white hair and it's pretty blue. One eye, so it's like a cyclops. So I'm sure he's got a name. You could probably put it on the end of a pencil. I'm sure that would fit. So let's check out our checklist to see who it is. Oh, look. Ice Clops. We already see him already. So is he have a rarity or anything or no? Okay, so there's Flick, Scorch, Tremor, Mudslide, Surge, Hydro, Bolt, Spark, Hex, Juju, Frostbite, and Ice Clops. I think Ice Clops is pretty cool. Out of all these, I like these colors too and these ones. But I do like these ones. It's like a winter one, a snow one. So let's see. Oh, okay. Nope, there's no like uh, different rarities to them. So there are only 12 to collect. So 
So it says stack and display them. So you can use this upside down and then the sides are slotted. Okay, so here we go. The sides are slotted so you can slide it in. So that's, you can see it's staying in, so it's slotted. And then you can continue stacking them. That's pretty neat. It looks like rock structures. So sides are slotted so you can connect and stack. And then there's the full size ones. 40 reactions and sounds, but yeah, like I said, I don't have this. And I don't know if they have any other ones in these. I think this is the most common one they one they use in the commercials a lot is Scorch. So there we go. That's our little grumblies, but I don't collect these. So this will be added in there to the prize packages. Where can you go? You can go right here behind the Jojo bow. But yeah, it's definitely about the size of a troll, but he's a little fatter. He's rounder and heavier, but the hair is the same. So... Oh, bye, Kika's World. Sorry, I didn't see that you said bye. Um, oh, there you go. It says I need to go bye. All right, see you later. All right, so that was our blonde bag, and we are on to three new questions. So here we go. What is the name of the famous big red dog belonging to Emily Elizabeth? So what is the name of the famous big red dog belonging to Emily Elizabeth? All right, I see him coming in. The first one was Jen A got it. So Jen A, it is Clifford. Clifford the big red dog. So good job, Jen. See, don't give up. So that was your second. And then the second one in was, let's see, I think it's up. Oh, yeah, it's Kylie Sparkle. So she's got five. So the next one after that, Aaliyah Jones says Clovers. Nope, it's Clifford. So Kitty Sam's World says Clifford. And that's number five for you. So good job. Kitty Sam's World. All right, after Kitty Sam's World was Just Your Everyday Weird. And then Dana Usted, Christina Payne, and then Angelica loves anything. And then, oh yeah, Aaliyah Jones said she spelled it wrong. Yeah, and then the autocorrect too always messes people up too. Then Faith says Clifford. So, all right, here we go. Uh, next question, you guys. In Nickelodeon's Rugrats, what are the twins' names? So it's the boy and girl twin. What are the names of those twins? You don't have to have the last name, just the first name. And they're really easy to spell. They're very short. So you got to spell it right. So in Nickelodeon's Rugrats, what are the twins' names? Now this is an older cartoon, but they've been bringing them back. So let's see who knows this. Oh, that's so super close. So close. Hey there, Wally's World. That's very nice of you to stop in and say hello. Yeah, I know my stream's going for a bit, but yeah, if you're busy too, don't worry about it. Totally no, no worries. And I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing good too. Nice weekend to spend with the family. It's nice and warm. It's not too warm though. <laughs> All right, so I see one and two. So the first one to get it in was Just Your Everyday Weird with Phil and Lil. So Just Your Everyday Weird. And there you go. And that's number two for you. And then the second one is, I see Phil and Bill. Oh no, it's Phil and Dill. Nope, Phil and Bill. And then Just Your Everyday Weird said Phil and Lil. They spelt it right. And um, Pill and Bill. Lil and Phil. So lots of love for kitties got it right after that. So lots of love for kitties. And there you go. All right, so our next question, you guys. <laughs> yeah, autocorrect. 
Yeah, Rugrats. They just show every day where I grew up watching Rugrats, but yeah, I don't anymore because I don't think I don't know if they even play it, but I don't have cable or anything. Um, so yeah, but I just knew it. Tommy and uh, Chucky. It's so weird they named the the little redhead Chucky. I don't know why. If that was probably intentional, someone was probably a fan of of that horror film. So, all right, here's our next question. What type of fish is Nemo? What type of fish is Nemo? Oh, is there like a new Rugrats? I know there's a Rugrats where they grew up, the grown up Rugrats, but. All right, so the first one to get it was Aaliyah Jones. Or, I'm sorry, it's not Aaliyah, it's. Oh, I'm gonna say it really wrong, I'm really sorry. It's. Uh, I, 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 oh man, I can't even say, I'm not, I'm so confused. Aija Jones? I'm, help me out here. How do we say your name? Like, spell it out in a different way. Like, I know it's spelled that way, but how would you pronounce it if you were, like, writing it as a word? So, it's, uh, Ahia, Ahija Jones, maybe? Ahija Jones? And then Totally Descendants came in right after that. So A H I J A H Jones. Oh, the A is missing that line. So there you go. Yeah, spell that out for me in a way that I. It's pronounced Aja. Okay, see, like I want to keep getting the I in there, but it doesn't. It doesn't have any sound there. So sorry about that. I didn't mean to mess up your name that bad. Um, right after you was Totally Descendants. So Totally Descendants, that is number five for you. Oh, I just, yeah, I just spelled that wrong. So it, there we go, it's okay. I added two T's instead of two L's, but I know how to spell that word, I promise you guys. So, all right, so after totally was, um, Jenna said cloud, then Kylie Sparkle said clown. Oh no, cloud, clown. Oh, that, that keyboard. And then uh, Dana instead said clown, then Amalia said it, then Just Your Everyday Weird, then Lots of Love for Kitties, then Jenna said it, then um, Kaylin Rothel, you said goldfish. He is a clownfish. Uh, Dana instead, then Angelica loves anything, so there you go. All right, so that was our last question for that group, but we are moving on. Um, uh, let's see, I'll just let you guys know. Um, after this live stream, I will be picking a winner for these stickers. Um, if you hadn't already, you still can. There's still time. Um, I close it after my live stream ends. So um, all you had to do is go to my last live stream, and you can comment up to 10 times. Each one has to be a separate comment. But um, it was just comment 10 blind bags that you like, or toys, or whatever you want to call it, because I know not all the blind bags come in bags, they come in boxes, so you'll get to pick three. It doesn't have to be these three, it can be just any three of these character sheets. Um, so any three of these, and then you'll get to pick one play scene. So you can pick like in her home or on the playground. So these Hello Kitty things, and you guys are really, really gonna like what I have for next, well, I know a lot of people will like this. So for what I have for next week's thing, and I'll let you guys know what you get a comment, is this. I've got some Jojo Siwa temporary tattoos. There's eight tattoos in there, so this will be for next week's thing. So don't forget to keep watching for that post, and I will let you guys know what you got to comment on this video once it posts in order to be entered to win these for next week's drawing. So um, yeah, look for the winner of the other one after, and then after that I will let you guys know um, what to do to do those. So <laughs> yeah, Jojo. All right, so... Um, Let's see, let's see, I am seeing the squeezums. So I think, sh okay, the squishiums is what is being requested. So I see squishiums, then the lucky stars, and then we've got the smooshy meat. So we'll do this one, then this one, then this one. So these, squishiums, these are really popular. I'm so surprised at how popular these are. These are a great, inexpensive toy, a really, really good replacement for, say, you know, you only have a little bit to spend. Maybe you spent all your money on something else, or maybe you only get a little bit of allowance. 
maybe you don't get allowance and you know you only get what you find on the ground, which I did when I was little. I would find pennies on the ground and save up until I could buy a package of gum, which used to cost 25 cents. So now they're 35, but this is only a dollar and it is just like the Moj Moj toys. So um, very, very similar, but you get two in this package compared to the one that you get with the Moj Moj. And you get to see what you get. I know it's not as fun as like a regular blind bag, the mystery, but once you have it open and you know what you have, if you didn't get something that you want, sometimes it's really sad or depressing or whatever, you know, because you spent that money and then you didn't get what you wanted. And, um, you know, with as cheap as these are, you could always, you know, you and your friends could get some. You could maybe really like only one out of this package and you liked one out of the other package and your friend wants the other one that you have. You guys could trade so also you won't be as upset if these get ruined because the paint does eventually come off but you know there's a lot of perks and these are only a dollar like I said so there you go so squishy um jiggly pals they're at Walmart in the bins kind of by like where the slime is um, they have like some bins with like cheaper items um, like yo-yos and other kind of little things like that so one of them in here is a little white unicorn so squishy, just like the Moj Moj, and these do collect everything. So if you're trying to clean your floor, just roll this across it, and you'll collect all kinds of stuff. And then just to clean it off, you just run it under some warm water with a little bit of soap. You just need like a little bit and just rub it, and it comes right off. And then just let it air dry, and then you get to do it all over again. So, But again, the paint on these, because they squish and stretch, they eventually just rubs off from touching it so if you don't want it to try to avoid touching it and squishing it on the eyes and stuff it will last a lot longer so yeah here you go so i know i've opened up like three of these bags i believe already and the last one i got one i really want it was a little paw print and they did have a bunny one i have like a camel it's like a little pink camel and then there was a um a chicken and a cat one, a kitty one I did open. So there's there's a lot of different ones that they have. So, and again, nice that you can see. But this other one is a rubber duck. So his head is a little crooked, but again, you I mean, it's a dollar, you guys. So you get like cheaper toys in the quarter machines, but these are just like the Moj Moj. So um, yeah, rubber duck. And there you go. So here are our two. They're a little bit sticky. They're kind of sticky. They're not too, too sticky on your fingers, but they are still sticky. But like I'm cleaning off my whole table from all the package droppings. See all the little bits on there? So again, these are made by, see look, all that's starting to come off. The jaw root, the name and everything. So, yep. Try to avoid rubbing on the paint parts, so. Um, imagine if there was a bunny one. There is a bunny one and I did, I got it. I got it already. I think it was like one of the first ones I opened, so. Does Sugar Bunny Helper have an email? Sugar Bunny Helper does have an email, um, but it's just me for right now controlling the whole thing. So um, it's sugarbunnyhelper at gmail.com. But um, you can always contact me on sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com. So I don't ever check this um, email just because I don't, don't know why anybody would email this one when they can just email me straight. So to Sugar Bunny Hops. So, um, all right, we are on to three new questions. You guys ready? Here we go. What actor plays number five in the show, The Umbrella Academy? Give me his first and last name. First and last name of the actor that plays number five in the show, The Umbrella Academy. Ooh, someone's playing Roblox right now. They're playing Roblox on their tablet and then they're live streaming on their phone. I haven't played Roblox in a few weeks. I need to get in and play. Dana instead is eating an apple and texting. Apples are really good. I love apples with caramel. I know like you're supposed to eat an apple just by yourself, but I like caramel with them so much. All right, so I see one, two, three, four. All right, I see a lot. So let's see, the first one to get it in there was Kylie Sparkles, but she's got five, I believe. Let me see. Yep, you've got five, so the next one in there was Just Your Everyday Weird, and there you go. Just Your Everyday Weird. I believe that's number three. So there you go. Just Your Everyday Weird, and it's Aiden Gallagher. It is. He's such a good actor. I love his character. Right after that was Amalia Zulfarfan. Or Farfan. Amalia 
Zool. And I think I'm spelling it right. I'm just going off of memory. Here we go. So there we go. Amalia. And that is number two. So here we go. After that, I'll continue reading how it showed up for me. Angelica loves anything after that. Then Dana Usted. Callie says, OMG, I'm playing Roblox too. Then Christina Payne. Then Faith Martineau. Then lots of love for kitties. Caramels with apple is so amazing. Just your everyday word says, yes, it is. So, um, what's that noise? If you guys heard a little noise in the background, that is some puppies. <laughs> some little puppies making noise. So they're just playing. But um, no, they're just like they're tussling. They're not. They're not screaming. They're just um, rolling around and doing like that little noise they do. So um, I have watched all the Umbrella Academy episodes as well. Just your everyday weird. I'm ex so excited. I. I, I cannot stand the cliffhanger. I wish I would have never watched it and waited till they were like all done and then started watching it because it's driving me crazy to know what happened. I want to see where they're going. I want to see everything. Like, I want to know it now. Like, I'm so impatient. But um, yeah, so here we go. The next question Who drives the magic school bus? So, this is a classic. Um, I don't think I ever watched it growing up. Um, but yeah, I knew who it was though. I know about this show. So um, yeah, let's see if you guys do. Who drives the magic school bus? I'm actually not gonna bring out the puppies. Um, sorry you guys, not this time. All right, so I see one, two, three, four, Five, let's see, I'm trying to get spelling on this. All right, all right. Um, I already forgot how to say it. Um, Aja, Aji, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot. So, Jones, um, she said she'll be back and she'll see me. So, thank you for coming and we'll see you when you get back. So, all right. Um, <laughs> There are so many answers. The correct one is Miss Frizzle. So Miss or Ms, like M-S. Mrs. indicates that she's married and she's single. Um, so M-S, uh, Frizzle, F-R-I-Z-Z-L-E. So the first one to get it, Kylie Sparkle said Mrs. Frizzle. Dana Usted says Mike. Um, no, Mike doesn't drive the magic school bus. Um, and Jen A, oh my goodness, I don't know what happens. Yeah, that keyboard. Um, and then Amalia said Mrs. Frizzle, but it's Miss Frizzle. Oh, Faith missed the double Z. Um, Just Your Everyday Weird got Miss Frizzle. The first one to get it in there. So Just Your Everyday Weird, you got it. So that's number four. So Just Your Everyday Weird. Oh, I gotta check this out real quick. And there you go. And that is number four on you. And then the next one was, do, 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 I see Frizzle. Well, let's see, let's see, did you have Miss? Okay, so Jen A had Miss and then Frizzle together. So Jen A, Miss, Frizzle, so good job, Jen A. And I think that's number three. Yeah, there you go. So Miss Frizzle, after that was uh, Dana Stetz and Mrs. Frizzle, and then Totally Descendants said, I forgot, yeah, but then once you hear it, you're like, oh, that's right. And then Kay Kay Kaylin Ruffle, you came in right after that with Miss Frizzle, she would have been the next one. And then Lots of Love for Kitties said Frizzle with a E-L backwards with Mrs. as well, so yeah, there was a lot. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Alright, so next question. What is the name of Shrek's princess? So the princess in the movie Shrek, what is her name? Spell this one right, you guys. You're very welcome, Jen, because you had it in both, like two separate ones. So you had it together before anybody else had it totally complete. So, all right, let's see one, let's see. I know you guys know this one, this one's easy. All right, I see one, two, three, four, five. All right, so the first one to get in there was Totally Descendants. And let's see, how many is that one? Totally Descendants, you've got five. So then we move on to the next one. Angelica loves anything. So you're the very next one in there. 
Angelica loves anything. And I believe that's number four for you. You're doing really good here. There you are. And then the next one after Angelica, we go. Um, Dana Usted says Fiona. Yes, Dana Usted, you are correct. And I believe that's your first one in there. So good job. Oh no, that's number two for you. I haven't written down. I'm just writing them down on the side there. But if you got it in there, don't worry. If I say something different than how many you actually have, I just I have your name in there. So. All right, so yes, Fiona was the name of Shrek's princess. So we've got two blind bags. We said we'll open the lock stars and then the smushy mushy. And we've got um, three more questions left. So let's open this lock stars. I found this at Target. They are 50 cents. So if you see any floating around at your Target, I definitely recommend checking for them. Um, this is a square one. So it's not gonna be a round one of these, but I mean, it might be something like that, but I don't know the checklist so I didn't look it up either because I just grabbed it but um, there's 24 to collect but yeah you can feel the shape of your lock so if you're trying to get a specific one then you could probably do a pretty good guess based on that so we will cut it open from the bottom all right so I did not cut the checklist all right so oh this is actually pretty cute I think it's like a little butterfly or something maybe. So um, it's got green top and legs and then a little like pinkish purple kind of front and let's see, okay they just kind of click open. So that's a cute little storage for something small. But yeah, there you go. I've never opened up one of these before. I've seen them but does it come with a key? It doesn't come with a key. What kind of lock is this? It needs a key. So here is the checklist. So is this a series three? It is, okay. So it's a series three checklist. And I don't know, this one reminds me of Coco. I know I had something else that reminded me of Coco too, that little banana thing. That one, eh. The hamburger one's kind of cute. I like the animal one. So there's like a penguin, I think, a cat one. Kitty Sam's World would love that one. A ninja. And then yeah, this is the one I got. And I don't think there's rarities, so yeah. But I got this one, it's like a little butterfly. I think this one's maybe like a shark or a monster. The way that it's shaped in the colors, but that one, eh, I don't know, I'm not so fond of. That one's kind of cute, and then this one's like, okay. And there's more on the back, but it doesn't look like, it's, again, there's like no different rarities. So, there's a fox, a polar bear, like a football player, I think that's a mailman, a donut, a ladybug, another monster, another monster, a bumblebee, those strawberries, cute, and then I think this is like a bulldog, the way it has an underbite like that, and then another kind of like monster there. So. Um, I got a pretty cute one, I have to say, for what it is, but I don't collect these, so this will go into the prizes for you guys to pick. Maybe this is the one you've been waiting for all your life and you need this to complete your collection. But it would actually be cool for like a little um, necklace with a small charm if you wanted to store it in there, or some earrings, or just whatever you have in there. Maybe you put like a couple little M&Ms and you just take it with you. I don't know. I have, I have all these weird thoughts, like I, I totally think about candy all the time. So. Anything that has like a little container, I'm always thinking to like put stuff in it. Like I have a lot of my stuff from when I was a kid and I find things inside of things, inside of things, inside of things. So I used every little bit of space I always had. So, but I love that it's translucent too. It's really cute, really pretty. Love translucent stuff. So there you go. Does not come with key. I don't think it's supposed to though. But we are on to our next three questions. It's an owl, it's a penguin. Is this a penguin? It's got like feelers and tennis here. So hello Mackenzie Walker, welcome back. All right, here we go. Our last three questions, guys. So good luck, everybody. Here is per request. When is the YouTuber the Orion Sounds birthday? So the Orion Sounds, the YouTuber. When is their birthday? Like the month, the day, the year. Thank you, Mackenzie. You are so, so sweet. On the checklist, it's a butterfly, is it? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's the butterfly. And then, yeah, there's the, uh, let me see, the penguin, an owl. The owl, I did not see. So the question is, when is the YouTuber, the, the, YouTuber, the Orion Sounds birthday? 
It's the penguin. Oh, that's an owl. Okay, I get it. I get it. The penguin is an owl. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> I just figured that out totally, Descendants. Thank you very much. It's an owl, not a penguin. Yeah, penguins are usually black and white, but sometimes they color them different just to be a little bit interesting. So, there we go. All right, so when is the YouTuber the Orion Sounds birthday? See if we can get the exact, the month, the day, and the year. Oh, this is a little bit hard. The person that actually requested this is not here. So if nobody gets this in like the next little bit, then I'm going to go ahead and move on to a different question and I'll give you a, a different one. So, oh, Mackenzie said she missed some of it because her phone died. Oh no. So yeah, I have my phone. Everybody, I think everybody would expect me to have a very cute case and I would love to have a cute case, but I totally need my phone to have like extra battery life so I have a battery charger as a phone case and it's purple so it's kind of pretty it's kind of shimmery but yeah I need an extra phone battery more than I need a cute case plus it doesn't fit in my pocket as good if I have a cute case on there sometimes like the bulky ones but alright I see one person let's see if we've got two I got one two alright so I see first person said July nope not September either October no um, July was partly right but um September, October, July 9-12. Um, Faith Martineau, July 11th, 1995. You are right. So Faith, you are the first one. Faith, M-A-R-T-I-N-E-A-U. There we go, Martineau. I had a really, really uh, long um, third grade teacher's last name. Her name was Molyneux. It was, it was like E-A-U-X at the end. It was so long. So just having to write that as your teacher's name, like all the time, like I got used to like E-A-U-X, like in whenever it was in a word or anything. Like I was like, I know how to spell this. I got this. So, oh, Mackenzie says she loves the My Little Pony Squishy. Not the greatest as far as like the stickering on the eye, but yeah, it's still really cute. Luna was the one I wanted. So all right, after Faith, um... I saw September Unicorn Toy 30. Hello. Welcome. Uh, just shave do words in November. Dana starts October the 5th. September. Lots of love for kitties. Says July 11th, 1995. You got it. So lots of love for kitties. I have lots of love for bunnies and for Dachshunds. I love animals though. So animals in general. All right, here is our next question, you guys. I thought I had another question. I do have some more questions. Where are they? So maybe these are not the last three. I'm gonna have to look over my things because I know I wrote down a question and I'm not seeing it in the last three. So I think I skipped a whole three questions. Plus I have another blind bag and I usually end on a question. So that was throwing me off. So I'm gonna look through. I think I might have another three questions after these ones. So here we go with this question though. Um, here we go. What LOL surprise doll in the Bling series is wearing camo? So what LOL surprise doll in the Bling series is wearing camo? You got the third grade teacher that everyone wanted, totally descendants did. You didn't really care who you got. Yeah, there was only, in the school that I went to, there was only one teacher for each grade during that school. I went to a new school every single year, guys. Like, it was so hard to make friends. I was so shy. I just didn't even try. And so I was kind of like the outcast. So um, every single year up until sixth grade and still was very quiet and shy. And then I went to the same school in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So I finally made a few, like, pretty good friends. And, um, yeah, but then I moved from New York to California for high school, so it all changed and it was really different. So, all right, so who is the LOL surprise doll in the Bling series that is wearing camo? Who's the LOL surprise doll in the Bling series that is wearing camo? All right, so I see one, two, all right, so I see someone, Kylie Sparkle said honey bun, and that is correct. Honey bun is, but you've got uh, let me see. Yeah, you've got five in there. And then lots of those for Kitty says, Cherry, no. She's actually wearing like a leopard print or something. And she's not even in that one, the Bling series. She's in the other one, the Glam Glitter. 
Um, and then let's see, Bun Bun. Nope, not Bun Bun. Um, Dana Usted said Honey Bun. So yes, Dana Usted, you got it. Me too. Here we go. So Dana Usted. So there you go. And the next one was Jenny A. So Honey Bun. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jen. It's Bun, B-U-N. So I'm um, take that back. But then Amalia said Honey Bun. So yeah, it's B-U-N. Um, yeah. And then let's see Amalia. All right, here we go. Amalia, there you are. And that is like number three, I think it was. So, um, after Amalia was uh, Just Your Everyday Weird, then Lots of Love for Kitties, then Faith, and Unicorn Toy 30 said, super cute. Yeah, she is really, really cute. Um, Jenna said, teacher's pet, then Totally Descendants said, oh my gosh, I'm not sure what we're oh my goshing, but oh my gosh. Uh, teacher's pet, fierce honey bun, yeah, so. Hello, Unicorn Toy 30, hello. And hello, Elizabeth, and welcome back. Oh, I, I can't remember how to say your name. I, I, uh, oh, I'm so bad. Ah, uh, jo you gotta spell it again for me. Spell it again for me, um, Jones. And then, um, yeah, the bunny is so cute. Funny, oh, this, yes, yes, that I was so, so excited to get. Um, so here we go. The one with camo is Honey Bun right there on the shirt. So nobody else is camo. And I believe she is the only LOL surprise that is wearing camo too, like in any of the series. So Honey Bun is the correct answer there for that one. All right, so the next question. How many more blind bags? I have one more blind bag to open right here. And I do have to look through my questions because I think I discarded, threw away a whole thing that had questions on it. So I'm looking through them as I go, but all right. Yeah, I'd moved, we moved every year, um, and I had a new school every year from kindergarten on up to sixth grade. Sixth grade is when I had three years in a row, and then, yeah. Um, so there we go. Um, here is your next question. What is the name of the piggy bank in Disney's movie Toy Story? So there's a specific way to spell this. I won't have you guys like spell it, you know, correctly for sure because I didn't even know until I looked it up. Like I just was making sure that my answer was right, even though I knew the answer. But then I found out that his name was spelled different. So, um, yeah, what is the name of the piggy bank in Disney's movie Toy Story? So, all right, here we go. See one, two. And all right, I am seeing Just Your Everyday Weird was the first one. Aja, Aja, Aja. Okay, she said Aja. Just Your Everyday Weird, let me out. Thank you. Aja, Aja. So Just Your Everyday Weird came in with ham. And you guys, it's actually spelled H-A-M-M. And this one is your fifth. So ham is right. Everyday weird. I feel the need to to tell you guys I have if you're just joining then these stamps are from these little candies that I had. We have to lick them and stamp them onto you. So yeah. <laughs> um, so after just your everyday weird uh, I see hammy but it's ham. Kelly Sparkle said but you got five and then piggy. Nope not piggy. Kawaii Panda, I believe you've got five, yep, and, but it is ham, they spelled it right too, and then Alphabet said Hamlet, and then Lots of Love for Kitty said Hammy, um, Kelly Sparkle said Hammy, Faith and uh, Martin News said Hammy, and then um, Jen A says Ham, so there you go, Jen A, you got this one. Jen A. There you are. All right, so after Jen was Just Your Everyday Weird, and then again Just Your Everyday Weird, then Jen, and then Sugar Bunny Hops um, Pig. Oh, you gave me the whole thing. You talked to me and then you gave me the thing. But yeah, Pig Ham was actually the answer. And then Angelica Loves Anything 
Um, so let's see. Mackenzie wants me to check out your videos after. Send me a link. If you send it, if you have Instagram, you can send it to me there or send it to me in an email because I forget, you guys. I have so many things. Like after I have to contact the winners, then I have a few things I have to post about. And so I forget. I'm a forgetful bunny. I'm sorry, but I'm never meant to hurt anybody's feelings. So um, just remind me. That's the best thing. And if I have something like in an email or written to me, then I can go back and look at it and that way I don't forget. That's why I tell you guys, if you want me to ask specific questions in my live streams about things, to put it in the comments on the video when it posts, because that's where I come back to remember. Just to give me little reminders, but um, yeah. So, all right, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, trying to get, yeah, yeah. It's 622, yeah, East Coast. Yeah, because I'm on Pacific Standard, so yep, East Coast. Or actually, you're in Canada too, so you're on the, that time zone. Um, all right, so that was the three for that. Now I need to find if I have another card that I threw away. So I'm looking at them right now. Uh, let's see, let's see. Not this one, not this one, um, not this. Oh, I found it, guys. So I have three more questions. All right, so I'll open up the blind bag and then I'll ask the last three questions. So I did throw away one that I didn't even have all the things. So, um, yep, I've got cards and I got three on each side. But our next blind bag is Smooshy Mushy Sugar Fix. Now, I know that there were, I think, four colors. I think there's like a pink, a purple, a blue, and maybe a red, if I'm not mistaken. But these are the Smooshy Mushy Sugar Fix. Now, in the each color, they had different ones. So here's all the different ones you could get. Now... I know from seeing other people's videos and stuff that the bunny comes in the pink one, but there's another one that comes in the pink one, and I want to say it might be this fawn or this one, but I can't remember. I just remember bunny pink, bunny pink. So I grabbed a pink one, hoping that I get the bunny. Um, if I get an ultra rare too, I'll take that. I'm cool with that, but I don't know if they came in that. I also would like a unicorn, but again, I don't remember which one else came in the pink so um, I just really would love the bunny to go with my little bitty that I have so hopefully I will get it I love the way this looks I love that they put the containers different each time like the LOL surprise balls they have balls and they're not even shaped like anything but the smooshy mushies they put them like they have a bottle shape they have this they have um, like a milkshake one the unicorn milkshake one they've got like a like a snow cone kind of like thing and then they have like the liquid in it and like there's a ton of different kinds so they change them each series so it's really nice but this one is the gumball and even the wrapper i mean just it's so cute they do everything they make everything so so super cute so there's the bottom but this would have been really cool if it would made a mini gumball machine like for real like if it really worked i don't see like a pull tab so i'm just gonna have to tear it yeah, I didn't think I was going to need my scissors anymore, but I do think I need them because I need to get it started. Just a little bit of help. Just a little help. Ice cream, yeah. Totally decent. It said we had a school for kindergarten. Your class was one of the last to graduate there. Oh, School for first to fourth, and school for fifth to sixth, and seventh and eighth, and a great. Wow, you did a lot of moving too. Yeah. So it can be hard or it can be easy, but um, you know, I was just very quiet. I didn't. And people thought it was weird, like when I because I didn't like to talk, and if people talked to me, I think I was really quiet. I was always afraid that people were going to make fun of me. So. There we go. That's what it looks like with the wrapper off. A little peppermint there. So do I take this? Oh, okay, twist. So you twist it to get it off. This is my first one of these. So, all right. Oh, and this I love too, you guys. I love that it comes with like a mini of the container in there. How adorable is this? This is just, oh my goodness. Things like this. I love them. I love mini anything. And then again, I always say how the little um, keychains, like, they come in such pretty colors. Like, it's really, really nice. It's pink and red for this one. So, and they have different colors, too. But this is so cute. You got a big one and a miniature one, and the miniature one is, like, more for the little bestie. But, you know, you could put, like, little Orbeez in here. That would be perfect. If you guys have these, put some Orbeez in it, and that would look like little tiny gumballs. Don't fill them with liquid. Just do it, like, dry. Dry Orbeez. And that would work perfect to make it look like a little gumball machine. Really good idea, huh? Yeah. 
And then, okay, so this will probably show who we have. Maybe not. Where's the sticker? Well, let's not let's not do the sticker. Let's find out who we have the the, the old-fashioned way. Let's open up the blind bag. It's a really thick bag too. Sometimes they're really thin or medium, but like this is like really thick, heavy duty. Please be the bunny. This is the bunny. Oh my goodness, two good lucks in one day. I've got the bunny. It's gonna be best friends with Bitsy. I know Bitsy has her best friend, Danny Donut, but this is the big best friend. Oh, I got the bunny. I got the bunny. I got the bunny. I am so happy. And it's the candy bunny. Look at, they got a little chocolate bar here. One of those little conversation hearts. I was actually eating some of these last night. A little peppermint. The bunny. Oh, because it's got pressed in the thing. So hopefully that'll puff out. But yeah, see, there's some more. When it gets crunched up in there like that, it can get like little indentions in it. So I hope it just kind of normals out after a while of being out. But this is the bunny! I got the bunny! I'm so happy! Love the bunny. It's so nice when you get exactly what you wanted out of the blind bag. That's just, that's like the best feeling. So the bunny, and I love the squishies. And they smell the same as the other ones. I think they changed the scent on some things. I'm not sure if they changed it on the Smooshy Mushies, but on some of the toys I've been getting, like the Squeezimals, they've been changing the scents on them. So, but love the smell of these. They always smell like the best. Some of them, the um, Squish Delish, some of them smell like, like bad. I don't know, like some of them smell good, but then some of them smell like bad and they make me gag. So like if I'm smelling them at the store, I'm like gagging. People are like, what's wrong with you? It's like, because it's gross, it's like, ah. and I make them smell it, and they're like, oh, okay. So, yeah, if you, if you go, what's wrong with you, and, and you see me in the store, I'm going to make you smell it. You can see what's wrong. So smell is wrong. It's a true sugar bunny. And look, she comes with a little sugary candy friend. So it's just a little, um, little hard candy, a little bow on it. I like the mouth there. It's super cute. This whole thing is just, oh my goodness, I got the bunny, I got my two bunnies right there. And then my little candy, which maybe will fall, I don't know. But look at the blind bag too, I didn't even show that to you guys, so looks a little different. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, they always do a lot of detailed stuff on these, so let's see, oh look at, there we go. Oh, it's Bitsy Bunny too? Oh my goodness, they just like revamped her. So it's Bitsy Bunny and they can be friends with the other Bitsy Bunny I have. So that works perfect because I actually just got the um, Bitsy Bunny, the big plush ones for my birthday. I bought them for myself and I got four because like I splurged. So I've got a bunch of Bitsy Bunnies and so now I have another Bitsy Bunny for my collection. So I don't take the sticker off. I usually keep it on there. But here we go. We can put it back on. And we've got our big one and our mini one. So there's a little size comparison. It's a little different. The little candy on the front is different. This is like, like a flower more than a, a peppermint. So it's a little bit different coloring and everything, but I love the little gumball machine. And so that, this makes me really happy. Sugar Bunny is very happy today. I've got Fun Bun and Bitsy, like that was a win. And then Luna, I mean, I got a winner here. This is a winner for sure. So here's our checklist. I've never seen one of these. Looked on the back. What is this? Is this like a bingo card? Oh, it is bingo. That's fun. It's okay. It says, Smooshy Mushy Bingo. First scratch off to reveal your besties caller card. Let's see. Then match and scratch to play. So reveal your code and download a prize. Oh, so they have an app and you can um, scratch it off and um, get a code. So I'll go ahead and do that later. I've got to download the app. I should have a long time ago, but I always play so many things and I only have so much time in a day, but there we go. Um, let's see. Here are the figures. So ooh, glow in the dark. I don't have any glow in the dark squishies, but there we go. There's Bitsy right here. Bitsy Bunny and Tippy Taffy. New best friend because Dainy Donut is the best friend in the other series. I bet it's the first one. But the Smooshy Mushy Pets ones. So these are the new ones. The babies. Number two, I believe, right? Because the first one had, um, had a bunny and had a lamb. And this one doesn't. So I want the cow. Which one do you guys want? They've got a cow. They've got Frankie Flappy, which is an elephant, and then a fox, a dog, a pig, another dog, like a poodle, 
a bear. I'm not super fond of bears, guys. If you guys love bears, I'm sorry. Bears are just not my favorite. They're just too, too much, like teddy bears and everything. There's so many bears everywhere. And then chicken. So I like the cow and the chicken best, I think. But I also really like the fox and the pig. The elephant's pretty cute and so is the dog. But I think my least favorite two would probably be this one and this one. But I love the cow one, for sure. The cow one's my favorite. So, oh, and then they've got spot the difference. Oh, I'm so good at this. Right away in this one, I can see Bitsy's got a different colored bow there. So that's the one. And then on this one, it's the candy right there. On this one, it's got to be, oh, there's like two that are different. There are three imposters in each row. Oh, so we're supposed to find three in each row. Oh, okay. So we won't sit there and do that. Yeah, because like this heart's different colored. Oh, okay. So there's a lot more to it, but I know it's it sound a little bit hard for you guys to see the details. So we won't sit there and do that. Oh, eating our Hershey's gold. Those ones aren't my favorites. The Hershey gold candy bars, but probably the poodle. You want the kitty and the unicorn. Oh yeah, that's on the top one. Let's see. Um, all right, so we've got three more questions and then we'll draw out the winner. So here we go, you guys. You ready? I can't believe I knew that I like, I felt like we were missing something, but then I remembered there was one specific question that I had, so. All right. In my last live stream, I opened a spirit horse figure. What did we decide to name it? They reminded us of um, something. The horse figure reminded us of something. But so we decided to name it what? Because I know we chose one name and then we changed it. So what did we change it to? Because it reminded us more of them. So in my last live stream, I opened a spirit horse figure. What did we decide to name it? All right, I see one, two. Let's get spelling on this one, guys. Keep going, spelling, because I'm looking for another one with spelling. Looking for one more with spelling. Oh no, keep trying, keep trying. Just one more with spelling, all right, so. The first one that had been in there that I know knew it, but they had to get the spelling, was Totally Descendants, and they actually ended up getting it um, second afterwards. So, Eeyore is correct. It was a gray pony, and it had its head down, so it really reminded me of Eeyore walking. So, Totally Descendants. And you actually have five, though. Okay, hold on, I take it back. So, you do have five on there. But, um, let's see. Then, lots of love for kitties. Lots... Oh, okay, well, it's a Z, but here we go. Lots of love for kitties. And there you go. Oop. All right, so that's I think, number two or three. Um, and then the next one, uh, Dana said, Eeyore, it's all spelling here. Jen A, then Ella, and then... Kylie Sparkles, but you've got five on there. So Eeyore, that was spelt right there. And then Faith with one E, another Amalia with one E. Spots, the thing did have little tiny spots, but it was hard to see. Um, and then Jenna, hey, there was an R missing. Um, totally Descendants, yep, that's when you'd gotten it. Then Jen A did get it, so there you go. Jen A. So you did get the spelling there. And there we go. So that is our two. After Jen A was Faith got the right one, and then Ella had gotten the spelling, then Angelica got the spelling. So Jen A said so she only watched part of the last one. Yeah. So I know my live stream's going on for a bit, guys, but I always have fun. So and you can always come and go as you please. So, all right. Here is our second question, the so second to last question too. What pattern is on JoJo Siwa's Sweet Sixteen car? So there's a design. It's a pattern. What is it? Not the colors but what is the design on it? Let's see if you guys have seen this. Her birthday isn't until May, but they're already celebrating it. I guess it's probably because she's going on tour, so. Um, yeah, yeah, yep. All right, so what design? It's like all over. On her Sweet 16. What design is on her Sweet 16 car? 
Ooh, this one's really easy too. I'll think about the hood of the car. What is that pattern? What is that? I see bows. It's not bows, guys. It's a pattern. So what pattern is this? I actually don't see anybody with it yet. So keep going, guys. I see zebra stripes. I see dream bows. Nope. It's a pattern. It's on the hood of the car and it runs along the side too. Okay, there's like a couple different things I'll take. So I see one. So let's see. See if anybody else grabs it. It's not pinstripes. It's not ribbons. It's not stripes. It's not spots. Her face in the rainbow. That's actually on her dream car that she got for her like 15th. Army print. Nope. I don't know if she'd do army print. All right. I see the second one. So the first person to get it, I will say, is Faith Martineau. She says diamonds. And it is. It's a bunch of diamonds. So I'll write down Faith. Oh, there you go, Faith. And then the second person that I would have taken, so I would have taken diamonds and I also would have taken checkered, which the first one to say that was Amalia Zulfarfan. So Amalia. All right, there you go. So yeah, there, it's like a checkered flag, you guys, the design on it. Um, it's like a racing car, it looks like, so it's a checkered flag design, which is diamonds. So either one of those, checkered or diamonds, would have worked. So, all right, it is a Tesla. It's a Tesla, yep. Um, let's see, let's see. All right, so here is our last question. There is one LOL Surprise fashion crush outfit that is fruit-themed. What is the fruit? So I actually did open up one fashion crush in one of my countdown to Christmas videos and I got this outfit and I think it's my favorite outfit. But what is that fruit that the outfit is themed like? So what is the fruit that it is themed like? All right, I see one, two. So the first one that I see is lots, well, it was actually Kylie Sparkles, but she's got five. So lots of love for kitties. You got in there, so lots of love for kitties. That's one. And then um, the next one is, I see pineapple, nope, it's not pineapple, is Ella the Bet. It is watermelon, and I'll actually show you guys the checklist for that. So here you go, Ella the Bet. There you go. Oop. All right, so here is the checklist, and it's a little different than their other ones. We'll just fold this half up. So LOL Surprise Fashion Crush, so you can see the Glam Club, the Athletic Club, the Sleepover Club, and then the Swim Club. And it's a watermelon on right there. So really, really cute. Um, it's my favorite. I, I like it. I really, really like it. And it looked really good on the doll that I put on. I forgot who I put it on, though. I totally forgot who it was. But she looked really good in it. So she originally had um, a bathing suit. Her bathing suit was um, pink and green like hot pink and hot green too so but yep there you go so that is our last question and we are going to go ahead and draw a winner so um everybody that's in there good luck and if your name does not get drawn don't forget that i do do a drawing at the end of the month from anybody who has gotten their name in there and if you didn't get in there today, don't worry. I have one every single Saturday. So um, this week I fell behind, but I keep it up this week. Um, I put two new questions on my website each day that I'll ask during my live stream. So you can go ahead and get the answers in advance. So just check out my website. It's down in the description box, but it's www.sugarbunnyhops.com. Um, so you can get those answers there. And... Um, 
Let's see what else. Yeah, if you want to ask, you want me to ask specific questions about different topics or people, like Pokemon's one, Harry Potter was one, Descendants usually gets one, Jojo Siwa definitely gets some requests. But um, put in the comments on this video once it posts, and I will come back and I will check and I will get questions from there. So um, yeah, that's two different ways that you can do really, really good at the live streams and study in advance. And all you have to do is be a fast typer. So here we go to everybody that's in here. Good, good, good luck. And um, yeah, always with any giveaway, um, I saw a really good question there. Um, do not put your information in the chat here, please. Be safe. Don't put your name, your address, anything. Um, you contact me directly, but when you contact me, um, please make sure that you have your parents' permission or whoever, um, an adult that is responsible for you because it is safety first. Like some people do not want to give away their information. They don't want people knowing where they live or anything. So it is important to make sure that you have permission to do this. So if you're not 18, then you've got to get permission from an adult before you give away your information. Because if they get something in the mail for me and then they're like, well, who's this? Then they might get upset. So you've definitely got to make sure that you have, you know, permission to do this. So um, other than that, yeah, good luck. How to contact me is down in the description box as well from Instagram or through my email. Best ways to contact me. So here we go, guys. Good, good, good luck. <laughs> oh, this is popping open. Keep it closed. Just don't pop up in the other one. So. All right, going in. And here we go. Christina Payne, congratulations. You are two days a winner. So contact me through Instagram if you have one. You can direct message me or through my email, sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com. Um, I'm pretty easy. Whatever my YouTube name is, that is usually what my name is in every other social media or my gaming, like um, I play Fortnite on the PlayStation. That is my name. And then um, Roblox as well. So Christina Payne, congratulations. Um, contact me and we will get your prize to you or prizes, depending on what you pick. So uh, you get to choose between a JoJo bow or 15 of the blind bags or prizes that I've had from current or past live streams or if you're international, $10 uh, Amazon gift card. So congratulations. Thank you so much, Christina, and everybody else who's entered and visits and spends time with me. I hope you guys have fun. I love doing this. You guys know I do. So that's why we do it. Also, um, let me see. Don't forget, I will be posting the winner of the Hello Kitty stickers. You get to choose the three of the main um, character sheets and then one of the thing. Um, this play scene and then I will be posting how to um, enter to win these Jojo tattoos for next week so you'll have to comment on this video once it posts something but I'll let you guys know what you got to comment and I still will um, I still have the giveaway going for these bows that I custom so they're based off of her kids choice award outfit so it is a real Jojo bow however underneath the purple bow is a real Jojo bow I just added the stars and then on this one I added that silver to the center so there's two of my videos that you had to go comment on. The first one was my JoJo um, LOL surprise custom, just the original one. Um, you had to comment um, what your favorite JoJo Siwa song so it was. And then on the second video, it was the LOL surprise custom big surprise ball. You had to comment. Um, let me see. What was it? Let me see, I totally, totally forgot. But you had to comment something, but I did have it posted, so I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. But I will be posting what the third video is. So I do post it on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and then I do put it in the um, community tab of my YouTube channel as well. So if you don't have social medias, you can check there for that post. So, um... Also, on my website, if you did want to see what my Instagram posts were, which are the same on my Twitter and Facebook, I post to all three the same exact thing, you can go to my website, www.sugarbunnyhops.com, and on there, there is a, a drop-down tab that says Instagram, and it has every single post that I've ever done. So you don't have to have Instagram. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can just look at them and do it like that because I know a lot of kids aren't allowed to have social media. So um, there's that other way to do it. So um, I'll let you guys know what video after this live stream sometime because I got a couple things to do. Um, how to um, or what to do. But at the end of the month is when I'll be doing this uh, giveaway. I'll be drawing the winner. So um, you'll have to come on all five videos to get entered for that. And other than that, I think we're pretty much done. 
But um, yes, congratulations and thank you, thank you very, very much, everyone, for coming. Yeah, this week was only one winner. It's been only one winner、um, except for the end of the month. I'll draw the three. But last week I did two because I, I had to cancel and、um, you know, do it on Sunday. So I drew two for that to make up for you guys. So,、um, all right. I think that's it. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will have another giveaway coming up hopefully tomorrow. Um, where I have some stuff to give away for Easter. So、um, watch for that. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.